Welcome to the podcast app course. In this course, we will be creating a complete podcast application which will get data from the server using podcast API and display it in the form of list within our application. User can download the data when they have internet connection and save it on the device local storage. When the internet is not connected, still they can access and play the downloaded data within the application. This course is consists of 8 parts and in each part we will cover different concepts. In this course you will learn how to download files from the internet using due package how to save the downloaded files in the phone local storage using Flutter package share preferences and lastly how to open and play audio files within the application. We will go through in details of different Flutter packages and their properties such as share preferences, path provider, cache network image and few more. Welcome to the second part of this course. In this section, we will be creating the basic structure and UI of our podcast application. So let's get started. In my main function, we are running my app, which returns the material app. Inside for the home property, we will pass podcast screen, which we will create separately. Therefore, inside the lab directory, we will create a view folder and then screen folder. And inside, we will create a podcast screen file. Here, we will create a class podcast screen, which is a stateful widget and it returns a scaffold within app bar. We will create a list view dot separated widget and inside we will set the item count to one for now for the separated builder we will return a size box widget with a custom height which will create some spacing between the podcast items for the item builder we will return a podcast item widget which we will create separately because we want it to be reusable widget therefore inside the view folder we will add another folder widget and inside we will create a podcast item file here we will create a class podcast item which is a stateful widget and it returns the list style widget for the title of the list style we will pass a text widget with some text for now because we are just creating the basic ui of the application for the trailing we will use an icon button with on press function and icon which is the download icon here for the leading of the list style we will use image.network widget with the custom height and width for now we will add a random image from the internet to achieve our goal and later we will specifically access the podcast images with this here you can see that we have our basic structure of our podcast application ready welcome to the third part of this course in this section we will be creating a model class for our podcasts first of all we will create a model folder in our lab directory and inside we will create a podcast file basically every podcast have its own image title audio that we will download later and lastly a unique id therefore we will create all these fields inside our podcast class we will set all these fields to required in our podcast constructor now we will use json serialization which commonly refers to the entire process of translating data structures to and from a more easily readable format. Therefore, we will create podcast.promjson constructor for constructing a new podcast instance from a map structure. Inside, we will assign all the data to its required fields. We will also create podcast.toJSON method which will convert a podcast instance into a map. These two methods will be required later when we are displaying and saving data to our phone storage. That's it, our model class is now ready and we will use our podcast model in our next part of this course. Welcome to the fourth part of this course. In this section, we will be accessing podcast API from the server and then downloading the podcast using due package. First of all, we will create an API folder in our lib directory and inside we will create a podcast API file. Here we will create a class podcast API and inside we will create a future fetch podcast method of type list of podcast to access our API. We are getting our API key key from a website called listen notes where we can get different podcasts and then we can access them within our app. First of all, you need to click here on Get API Keys. It will take us to the Pricing and Plans page where you can select any plans according to your requirements. You can also select a free subscription. For that, we will click here on Subscribe button and it will open up a window where we need to agree to their terms of use and directions. After that, we need to provide some basic information that include your name, about you, your LinkedIn profile, etc. After providing all the necessary information, click here on Continue button then you need to define here how you will use this API platform in which you are going to use this API and some other details after that click here on the continue button and lastly review your entered information and click on the submit button after some time you will receive an email like this with the following link and when we click on it we are directed to our listen API documentation page here we have our base URL of the API that we will use later and when we scroll down here you can see that we have our API key that we will use in our application. 
we already have our api key therefore coming back to the podcast api file here in the patch podcast method we will create a const url and assign our api url we will create another constant variable api key and assign our api key to it respectively here we will also create headers for our api that are used to provide additional information for our server to process an api request here inside we will set our api key and we will also declare our expecting format from the api server using the accept header with this our api request is ready now we will download our podcast from the api server for that we will make use of the flutter dew package which is a powerful http client for the flutter that allow us to download any file from the internet to our phone first of all we will go to our pubspec yaml file here under the dependency we need to include the dependency called dew package with the latest version number and after adding the dependency don't forget to run flutter pubkit command in the terminal to download the package we will also require another flutter package to check internet connection of our phone whether our phone is connected to the internet or not for that we will make use of the internet connection checker package which is a pure dart utility library that checks for an active internet connection in the phone first of all we will go to our pubspec yaml file and under the dependency we need to include the dependency card internet connection checker package with the latest version number and after adding the dependency don't forget to run flutter pubkit command in the terminal to download the package now coming back to our podcast api file first of all we will initialize our new package after that within our patch podcast method we will check if our phone have internet connection using internet connection checker dot has connection if our phone is connected to the internet then we will call get method from our new package which is a handy method to make http get request inside we will pass the url of our api and also the header within the options widget lastly we will save it in the response variable we will create another variable and here we will access the downloaded data from our response variable as a list finally we will convert our results to a list using map method and inside we will return podcast from json method for constructing a new podcast instance from a map structure we will save it in the podcast variable and lastly we will return it if our phone is not connected to the internet then we will return an empty list for now now we need to display the downloaded podcast within our app for that we will go to our podcast screen here first of all we will create a list of type podcast and also also create an instance of our podcast api class now we will create a future method fetch podcast and inside we will call fetch podcast method from our podcast api class and lastly we will save it to the podcast list we will call fetch podcast method within the init state to make sure it is called whenever our app starts we are almost done with accessing api and downloading podcast now we need to display our downloaded data for that we will go to the body of the scaffold here we will check if the podcast list is null means that there is no data in the list then we will return a circular progress indicator in the center if the podcast list is not null means that there is some data then we will display our list view dot separated widget for the item count we will use the length of the podcast list for the item builder first of all we'll initialize all our podcast from the list to podcast over this index after that we will return podcast item and inside we will add podcast property and pass our podcast to it now going to the podcast item file here within the list style widget for the title we will access our podcast title within the text widget for the leading we will access our podcast images inside the image.network widget after hard reloading here you can see that we have successfully downloaded our podcast from the server and displayed it within our app respectively welcome to the fifth part of this course now in this section we will save our downloaded podcast within our phone using shared preferences and path provider package first of all we will go to our podcast api file here right after the patch podcast method we will create another future method download audio inside we will add three arguments which is url file name and lastly on receive progress which is a callback to listen the progress for receiving data now we need to access the path to our directory where the application may place data for that we will make use of the flutter package path provider which helps to access device storage by providing path first of all we will go to our pubspec yaml file here under the dependency we need to include the dependency card a path provider package with the latest version number and after adding the dependency don't forget to run flutter pubkit command in the terminal to download the package we also require another flutter package to store the path of the downloaded podcast 
for that we will make use of the shared preferences which can store and retrieve small amounts of primitive data as key value pairs to a file on the device storage. First of all we will go to our PubSpec ML file. Here under the dependency we need to include the dependency called shared preferences package with the latest version number and after adding the dependency we will run flutter pubget command in the terminal to download the package. Now coming back to our podcast API file here we will create a variable app storage and assign it to a directory using git application document directory which comes from the path provider package. We will also initialize our shared preferences. After that we will create another variable and, and here we will access the path of our directory using app storage.path and also the file name that we will get later when we call this method. Now we will check whether our phone is connected to the internet connection using internet connection checker dot has connection. If it is true then we will call the download method from the do package. Inside we will pass url of the api path that we have already defined here and lastly on receive progress. Right after that when we have the path downloaded we will use set string method from the shared preferences which is used to save a string value to a persistent storage in the background. Therefore we will pass our path as a value and also give it a path as a key. With this our download audio method is good to go. Now going to the podcast item file here within the on press function of the icon button we will create a variable path and assign it to the podcast title plus the id of the podcast. After that we will call the download audio method using podcast API dot download audio and inside we will pass the audio of the podcast path that we have already created here and lastly on receive progress function. Here we will use debug friend for now to display the downloading progress within our debug console. After hard reloading here you can see that when we click on the download button our audio starts downloading and we can see the progress in the debug console. Welcome to the sixth part of this course. Now in this section we will be saving the podcast images to our phone from the internet using the flutter package cache network image first of all we will go to our podcast item file here within our list tile we will replace the image.network widget with the cache network image widget which comes from the cache network image package and it is used to show images from the internet and keep them in the cache directory to make this work make sure to go to your PubSpec ml file and here under the dependency we need to include the dependency called cache network image package with the latest version number and after adding the dependency don't forget to run flutter pubgit command in the terminal to download the package. Now coming back to the podcast item file, here inside we will use image url property to access our podcast images. We can specify the width of the images using the width property. We will set our fit property to boxfit.cover to fill all the available space. Cache network image widget have important property placeholder which is used to display a widget while the target image url is loading. Therefore we will return a colored box and inside we will specify the color of the box. We also have another property error widget which displays a widget while the target image url fails to load therefore we will return an error icon welcome to the seventh part of this course till now we have downloaded the podcast and saved it within our phone storage now in this section we will be handling the downloading progress and displaying the downloading progress within our application therefore in our podcast item file we will create a progress variable initially we will set it to zero and later we will save our downloading progress in a now within the list tile for the trailing we will wrap the icon button with the stack widget inside we will create a position that fill widget which creates a position object with left top right and and bottom set to zero for the child we will pass a circular progress indicator dot adaptive and inside we will pass the progress to the value property after hard reloading here you can see that when we click on the download button we have the circular progress indicator which is gradually increasing with the downloading progress now we also want to change this icon from the download icon to the play icon to know that the file is already downloaded for that we will create another future git saved path method and inside we will initialize our shared preferences we will use git string method of the shared preferences which reads the value from the persistent storage and then we will save it in the save path which we will create in our stack. Now coming back to our icon button here we will check if the saved path is null then we will return download icon and if the saved path is not null then we will return a play arrow icon. Finally right after the download audio method we will call our get saved method and lastly we will set the progress to zero. After hard reloading here you can see that when we click on the download button we have a circular progress indicator which is gradually increasing with the downloading progress and after downloading is finished our download icon is changed to the play arrow icon. That's it for this section. In the next part we will play our podcast within our application. Welcome to the last part of this course. 
in this section we will be opening or downloading podcast using flutter package open file first of all we will go to the podcast api file here within the download audio method inside the app statement when we have the internet connection after downloading the audio we are saving our path using shared preferences right after that we will use open file that open method from the open file package and inside we will pass the path that we have already created and the type of the file which is audio file here to access the open file class make sure to go to your Postgres ML file here under the dependency we need to include the dependency card open file package and after adding the dependency don't forget to run flutter pub git command in the terminal to download the package now coming back to our podcast api file after hard reloading here you can see that after downloading is finished our podcast audio starts to play within our application now we want to access the downloaded files offline also for that we will go to the patch podcast method before returning the podcast we will use shared preferences that sets string method which saves a string value to persistent storage here we will use json.encode method and inside we will pass our podcast which will convert it to json string we will also give it a key podcast and if our phone is not connected to the internet connection and then we will access our podcast using get string method from the share preferences then we will save it in the podcast variable here we will check if the podcast is equal to null means that there is no data then we will return an empty list otherwise we will return json decode method and inside we will return podcast start from json method for constructing a new podcast instance from a map structure now let's also open our downloaded podcast when our phone is offline for that we will go to the download audio method here right after the if condition when we don't have internet connection we will get the path using the get string method from the shared preferences and save it in the saved path variable here we will check if the saved path is equal to the path that we already have then we will use open method from the open file class and inside we will pass the path and the type of the file which is audio here in this case after hard reloading here you can see that after downloading the podcast successfully even if i disconnect the email later from the internet we are still able to open the file within our app if we close the application and run it again still we are able to play the downloaded podcast within our application well that's it we have successfully developed our podcast app where we can download different podcasts can save it in our phone storage and lastly we can play it around within our podcast application